and welcome back to the channel. So now that Creflo Dollar has denounced his teachings on the subject of tithing and is calling them false, uh, he has also stated that any books that he's published on the subject should be thrown in the trash. So the question is this. Should Creflo Dollar now be required to return all of the money from those book sales rather than telling people to simply throw them in the trash? Now, for the record, he is not the only one who has denounced the teaching of tithing. Um, I believe Benny Hinn also did the same thing. Uh, one of our viewers made a very um, important point that uh, they've taught this for so long that now that they you know they have reached their height <laughs> you know in terms of decades of collections um now they are pulling the plug on this now i don't think that they're doing it trying to prevent others because this is not going to prevent others who um still have a mindset of thinking that they are entitled to tithing right uh, there are some who actually know the truth about tithing and, and are still teaching that it is a requirement and they are binding people to tithes based on uh, their own greed. But I still wanted to ask the question concerning um, these admissions that have been made by Creflo Dollar and even Benny Hinn. Um, since Creflo is telling you to trash the books that you've bought, should he also be required to give refunds instead of just telling you to throw them away? Should he be required to give a refund for those books? Because those were his false teachings, whether he knew it or understood it or not. That's beside the point. He capitalized and profited off of the subject uh, by uh, telling people, uh, this is what you must do. There was even the video of him uh, calling people crooks and saying uh, that they need to be taken out, <laughs> you know, dealt with, with um, a gun if they didn't pay their tithes. Um, he pretty much said that they needed to be shamed. So if he is truly repenting of this, if he is truly repenting and not just um, denouncing um, the teaching of tithing, or not just uh, saying that the teaching was false and it was done in error, wasn't done correctly. Um, do you believe that a true repentance in this subject, since he has gotten very rich, not just off of tithing the book sales, he's done other things as well, but he's made a significant amount of money on book sales. Now he's telling you to throw them in the trash. Should he be required to return the money, refund your money instead of telling you to throw away the book that he told you was, you know, a teaching that he believed to be true. By selling the book, he's telling you this is what he believes to be true. By selling you the book, this is what he believes on teaching, on tithing, should I say. So, for those of you who have not heard his confession, I'm going to play that for you again. And then, I'm going to put up a poll uh, for you to go into the community tab to vote on this subject of Creflo Dollar, the book sales, refunding or returning of the money, and his denouncing of paying tithes. Or, should I say, his tithing doctrine. Here is the clip for those of you who have not heard. I want to start off by saying to you that I'm still growing and that the teachings that I've shared in times past on the subject of tithing were not correct. And today I stand in, in humility to correct some things that I've taught for years and believed for years, but could never under, understand it clearly because I had not yet been confronted with the gospel of grace, which has made the difference. 
I won't apologize because if it wasn't for me going down that route, I would have never ended up where I am right now. But I will say that I have no shame at all at saying to you, throw away every book, every tape, and every video I ever did on the subject of tithing unless it lines up with this. I've, I've done some corrective teaching in the, in, the, in the last 10 years, but not to the degree of what we're getting ready to do now. So why is this important? Because religion is sustained by two factors, fear and guilt. And if it's one subject that the church has used for a long time, to keep people in fear and guilt, it is in that subject of tithing. And it has to be corrected, and it's got to be corrected now. I may lose some friends, preachers may not ever invite me no more, but I think I've already been through that, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so right now at this point, no one knows, or should I say, um, I don't know, uh, what has caused this about face. Uh, he hasn't given any specifics. Uh, there's speculation in the comment section, of course. Uh, some are saying maybe he had a dream um, that he, you know, went to H-E-L-L. Uh, maybe the Most High impressed upon him. Uh, maybe someone brought a teaching to him that was more clear uh, of an understanding. Um, who knows? The Most High could be dealing with him. Okay, that could be the case. We don't know. Uh, he could have had a dream. Who knows? We don't know what has caused this. Maybe someone uh, with greater knowledge and understanding on the subject of tithing convinced him that his teachings were false. No one knows at this point what the real, real reason for the about face is, but there is still the question of all of the money that has been collected over the years that were from book sales and the collection of tithes itself. Um, it seemed like it was a big serious thing in his church to the point where he felt like people who did not tithe needed to be shamed. I mean, the, these were his own words um, in terms of saying what needed to be done. He didn't say shamed, but he said that they need to be lined up and dealt with. Many of you have already heard the clip concerning that. A lot of people are sharing that clip, right? Uh, this clip was done years ago. But this is a more recent clip of his new stance that you just saw where he no longer believes the same thing concerning ties. And he hasn't made it clear as of yet that I know of what his stance is. But he did say that his teachings were false. Okay? Um, so, based on all of that, what we know so far, um, what should be done with all of the money from the book sales? Is it appropriate him, for him to simply say, throw it away, or should he return the money? Uh, meet me in the community tab and cast your vote there. Until next time, I'm out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.